guys to another session on dynamic programming and today's topic is chain matrix multiply and just to demonstrate it I have put this picture of the B2 stealth bomber because the way our dynamic programming solution looks kind of resembles that. So with that let's dive in. Alright so um, for this um, introduction, I guess the matrix multiplication problem has uh, the definition that we have a chain of matrices, in this case a very simple example of A, B and C, three matrices, and if you want to multiply these three matrices, we can multiply them using the associative multiplication rule for matrices that A, B first and then multiply it by C, or A first and then multiply it um, sorry, BC first, and that result is multiplied with A. Now, just to put it in perspective, um, you can see that if A is the size 10 by 30, B is the size 30 by 5, C is the size 5 by 60, then doing this operation here, the cost of number of operations, just a simple multiply accumulates that you have to do to solve this is 4500. But if you do this operation here, uh, then if you do BC first followed by the multiplication to A, then this operation here and then finally this one here, the total operations is 27,000. So you can see that a huge difference lies between these two um, solutions. And so we have to solve this chain matrix multiply problem to figure out what is the most optimal way to compute uh, the matrix multiplication. A quick word on these two properties here, multiplication of matrices is associative, which is you can club and slice and select them as to which ones you do first, which multiplies you do first, but you cannot swap the order. For example, you cannot convert A times B into B times A. That is not something you can do. So you will start to see the resemblance between this problem and things like chain of hotels where we were making uh, moves across a bunch of hotels and we were staying at a hotel on a given night. In this case, think of these chain of matrices just like our hotel chains and they cannot be turned around. They cannot be mixed and matched or per uh, any permutations of those uh, matrices is not possible. The only thing you can do is select where to put these, these uh, parentheses and that's all you can do. So next we look at um, the uh, dynamic programming uh, solution or motivations to do this. So first off, let's look at you know a, a toy example here is, is that we have six matrices, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and A6, and their dimensions are given here. And so the way to think about this problem is that if you were to write these A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6 side by side, the simple thought in dynamic programming is where do I slice and I the problem could be solved by putting multiple parentheses but in any given step in dynamic programming the focus is to put one optimal cut and that's what makes dynamic programming so effective and so simple to think about is because all you have to plan is this one cut here wherever it might be in this chain if there are six in this example you have to find whether this is good or this is good or this is good, but you make just one cut. Just one parenthesis is all it takes to solve this complicated problem. And now this is an equation that we won't dive in right away, but this is essentially the mathematical form of this, that if you have a, a, matrix, a set of matrices from I through J, where the I and J, for example, is if I have A1, A2, A3, I would be one and J would be three. So um, that set that you're given here to solve, you basically make one cut using this variable called k. And that one cut can be moved from the beginning to the end, and that's all you have to think about. So, so for that given step, this is the equation. You move the k through all the positions, and once the k is set, you have a left side and a right side, and you plug in the value of the the left side and the right side because by dynamic programming they have already been computed. 
And that's what the magic of dynamic programming is in this example, is this is already there, this is already there. I don't have to make five different, you know, slice points in this example. I just make one slice point with K, find the optimal slice point, and that's all I have to do. Now, quick word on this is that it uses, once you slice this matrix, you take the left and the right, but keep in mind that you still have one more multiplication to combine these two. So that final thing is this, this, um, this function here, which is used to combine the left side and the right side together. And so that's there. Now, the way to set this up in the matrix form or in this stealth bomber format is um, is that you have i on this side and j on this side. Now, m, i, j, any square here is identified by i and j vectors. And i equals one and j equals six here, which means you start at one and you end at six, or it could be anything in the between. For example, you could start at one and end at two, which is just these two here. And you could start at three and end at five and five it could be a set like this but these are sub problems for example this these are sub if it's one to one um, it's a sub problem for this whole problem now the way dynamic programming works is that it sets up the sub problems so that they are solved before you move on to more advanced problems and uh, so now with that let's look at what the smallest sub problem is the smallest sub problem happens to be when the length of this chain is is just one which means you know a1 which is i equals one and j equals one and i equals two j equals two and so on so this is the simplest and to multiply a matrix with nothing else is zero operations because the answer is itself next we look at uh, where the operations requires two matrices so if it's a1, a2, i would be one and j would be two, right? And then, so here you can just multiply the, the number of operations is 30 by 35 by 15. So you write that down here and so on. And you fill up this level, which is fairly easy. Nothing complicated in this step. You are given just a1, a2, next a2, a3, um, a3, a4, a4, a5, a5, a6. And those are the only possibilities because there's no commutative math going on in matrices, it's really straightforward. So we have solved this uh, step here. Next, you go to the one level above, which is that the chain is now three long. And if it's three long, now you've got A1, A2, A3. Now it's getting more interesting. So if I got A1, A2, and A3, which is here, I equals one and J equals three, this can be solved by applying two different slice points. And the first slice point would be if, if my k is at you know one. If k was one, then I would take first would be one one, and the next would be two three. And if k is set at two, then you get m one two and m three three. So graphically or pictorially looking at it, there are two options: either this and this, or this and this. These are the two two matrices, and you combine these uh, by using the appropriate operations, and then you get these two values, either is 7875 or 18,000, and you choose the minimum of them and put that here. And so you have computed A1, A2, A3 multiplication right here, built on top of the subproblems here. And so we've also seen that in trying to compute this, the previous matrix computations on this wing are used. And it's nothing else but the wing matrices being utilized to form the tip of the stealth bomber. Now, this can be repeated all the way through, and I'm just gonna show you one more, um, which is at the top here, which is also our answer, because the final answer for this is A1 to A6, and so I equals one, J equals six, this is the answer, because at this point, we have solved the whole problem. And so in this case, if I want to solve one to six, remember, in the beginning, we said you only need to find one slice point which and move that point based on this equation, the k variable. You don't have to find multiple ways to slice and dice. Just find one slice point and move it across the whole solution. And because this dynamic programming is built on top of other problems, it will find the best solution for you. So in this case, in this final um, tip of the 
the stealth bomber, what we have is M16, and it's a minimum of the slice point being moved from one, two, three, four, five. The K value is one, two, three, four, five here. And so for each of these, you can compute by picking up the respective matrix wing cells. So for example, if I do one, 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 one is right here, and its partner two, six is up here. And so these are colored in the same color. And likewise, you can see that if you go through the slicer K, you're basically tracing this wing of the bomber. And so when you connect all these together and combine it with these um, cost functions to combine these two matrices together, then you can find the minimum over all these and you can put it up here. And that's your answer because that is a one through six I equals one J equals six and that gives you the answer. Now let's come back to this now that we have understood how to solve the dynamic programming, let's just quickly look through this. So MIJ is essentially any uh, cell of this uh, structure. And then um, what you do is if I equals J, which is at the bottom here, it's always zero because there's no math involved in matrix that does not transform. And when you have, when you're going from a matrix, for example, two, two would be A1A2. So when you fill these ones or anything above this, I and J are not the same, then you can put a slice point between I and J and any slice point and vary that slice point. Just, but remember, just one slice point is needed. So that one slice point can be varied from I to J and then the cost function of combining these two left side and the right side matrix, and that gives you the answer. Now, keep in mind that um, we didn't have to think about various slice points. All we had to think about was one slice point and because this is based on solutions coming from much smaller problems, they themselves have picked the best solution to come up and arrive at this point. And therefore, the combination here is a combination of all possible slice points, which may consist of multiple slice points. And, and so that is how dynamic programming has simplified the overall view of thinking about it in like, really, possibly slice it, you know, here, here, uh, here, or wherever. There may be multiple parentheses that can be put across, and this is just a very simple example, but multiple parentheses can be put across this. So thinking of dynamic programming, all you have to think of is one slice point at this level, and then break it into two problems, and then go down each one of them, and slice that, and slice that, and so on. Find the optimal slicing point for each of those problems, and combine them up top here to find the solution. Now, I wanted to also quickly point out that you can see the same solution instead of being shown like this. It could also be shown like this. And in this case, I is on the y-axis and J is on this side. And so you start off by filling the diagonals first and the diagonals are always zero. Then you start to fill the next, um, next um, chain length of one, chain length of two, chain length of three, and you end up with the chain length of, you know, n minus one. And um, and that's where you end up with the final answer. It's right here. So um, then the only thing remaining at this point is, hey, what's the order? And so if you do a quick look at this, you can see this is I versus J matrix. So at least this order n squared. But keep in mind that we didn't, Another thing, another loop we have to run is that we have to then move the slicer and get different values filled. For each of these calculations, you have to do multiple calculations. It's not just a single calculation that fills up at this point. You have to move, to compute any of these, you have to move the K also. So that's the third variable and therefore the order is N cubed and it's not N squared. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. And if you stuck with me this far, I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye-bye.